Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, and we have been talking all week about your paint party businesses, so I just want to talk really quick about you do not need a bazillion paint parties to have success in this business. So as you log on, if you would just tell me, hi, um, I'm gonna you know, answer a few of your questions. We've had a lot of people um, asking questions and talking about all things paint parties. I've been getting a ton of emails. And I just wanna say, we have, we have over 300 members now in paint party headquarters. We've had well over 100 people join just in the past couple of days. So if you are joining, please give us some grace. We are, Try, we are very excited and very overwhelmed with the amount of people that have joined just in the past um, 24 to 36 hours. So first off, I just wanna say a huge thank you. Um, we also did a huge giveaway earlier today, um, over $200 worth of art supplies. That was really exciting. We gave it to Teresa. Um, she um, actually sent me her address, so it was claimed, so I will be sending that out to her soon. And then I just wanna talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, guys, I've been telling you, I went to the library today and got a hard copy of this so I could show you. Um, who has read this book yet? Big Magic. Anybody read it? Put on there yes or no if you have read it. Um, guys, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about that and what, what it means to, for, to be successful in this business because here's the thing. You do not need a bazillion, gazillion paint parties to be successful in this business. You can start small, okay? Starting with a guinea pig paint party is perfect. And go ahead and ask me any questions you have right now if they're about paint party headquarters or about teaching a paint party, any of those things, because here's the deal, guys. I used to think I needed to have all of these paint parties. And then whenever I started looking at the time it was taking to do, the time it was taking to do some of the paint parties, also to um, the things that I, were want, that I was wanting in life. For example, um, my husband, he would go cut the grass and it would take him forever and you know, take him four hours and he was worn out. And I just remember thinking like, I want you know somebody to come cut our grass, you know? And there's a guy that cuts our grass for $50. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it takes him half the time. It's so much better. You know, not, not that my husband didn't do a good job, but you know, he was just worn out from it and he was, you know, taking hours weed eating and we didn't have the best supplies for it. And so I thought, you know, oh my gosh, I just want to make enough money to do this or to do this. And so sometimes we have these huge goals and we think we have to have a bazillion paint parties to make a difference, but we don't. We do not have to do that. I, I teach women all over how to make money teaching paint parties. And I had somebody today who just joined paint party headquarters and I just want to welcome her, Diane. We have many new members i'm so so excited so give us some grace as we get you in there and get you plugged in when you do join make sure that you check your email because you'll get an email right away make sure you check that email if it's not there check spam and then follow those directions for that because we're going to get everybody situated and then in um on monday we're going to have a big welcoming ceremony to help everybody out but Diane, she's a new member and she said, I wrote it down here, she said, making happy income. And I thought, yes, that is what it's all about. It's about making happy income. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and tell me hi, tell me where you're from, tell me if you're watching this live or tell me if you are watching the replay. So I wanna tell you just a quick little story. This is out of Big Magic from Elizabeth Gilbert. Now, um, I was trying to find the page of exactly where it was because I just wanted to read it exactly how she said it. But I, maybe if I can find it over the, the evening, I'll do it tomorrow. But what she said in this, um, she was talking to an elder lady and she talked about how in her 20s, she said, you know, you know, do you have any tips? And she was talking about in her 20s how, you know, we all feel like everybody is looking at us and we're just trying to, you know, do what, you know, people expect of us. Like, you know, we're trying to please everybody. We're trying to not make any waves, all of these things, right? And then she said, in your 30s and your 40s, you start to figure it out and you start to not care as much. 
But she said, in your 50s and 60s, that's when it's liberating. She's like, that's when you start to have this freedom, when you can feel like you can do anything and you don't care what people think. Because whenever you're doing that, and again, if you have not picked up this book, I have it on my must, um, must have products because again, it's one of my favorites. Um, but if you have not got it yet, go. this is a library copy. Go get it from the library for free. Um, download it on your Kindle, whatever the case. But guys, it is a must read. Big magic. And she talks about in your in your, in your 50s and 60s how you're fully liberated and how it, you don't care what people think. And the reason for that is that you can fail. You can fail and fail and fail again because you realize that people really aren't watching that closely anyway. And she says, yeah, if you fail totally miserably, they might notice for a second, but then they're on about their happy business. They're doing their thing. They're busy with their kids. They're busy with their own life. And it just gives you this freedom to go, you know what? I don't care. People really aren't watching that much anyway. So why not teach a paint party? And why not try to make some happy income like Diane, our new member says? And it just gives me that freedom. And so I am so grateful that I read this book several years ago because it gave me that freedom of like, oh my gosh, I can literally, as fast as I can fail, as, as fast as I can get up and try again and make it right. Because success is inevitable. You just have to keep going. You just have to keep moving forward. And when I read that and I thought, oh my gosh, I am not going to wait till my 50s and my 60s to go, yeah, I'm really caring what everybody else thinks. If people don't like me, they can tune out of the Facebook Live. They can unsubscribe to my emails. But you better believe that my passion and my mission in life is to share God's love through art. And I can't do that unless people know, unless people know that I'm offering that. So my mission, and that's what I teach people in Paint Party Headquarters, is you know we can be the best painter in the world, we can be the best artist, whatever the case is, but if nobody knows about you, then it does not matter. And I hate to say that, I know it sounds mean, but that's the truth. 90% of this game is marketing, and that's where I get to help you. And oh my gosh, so, Laria, I hope I'm saying that right. She says, I'm so excited to catch you live. Okay, so I'm gonna be here for a few minutes answering your questions because we only have one more day to join Paint Party Headquarters. Now, we have had, oh my gosh, an overwhelming amount of people. I was not expecting this, but we are over 300 members now, and I have not checked lately. So if you join tonight, which we do have an extra bonus, if you join tonight, I'm gonna be giving you rights to the mermaid tail, which I'll show you. And again, this means that you have rights to use it to teach paint parties. Like you have rights to use it all summer to make money teaching paint parties. The other thing that's really great in paint party headquarters, and guys, I just want to warn you, this is my one and only wreath I've ever made, and it isn't that sturdy. So I'm teaching you the mermaid tail <laughs> of this wreath, and this is one of the bonuses. So if you join tonight, you're going to have access to learn how to make this mermaid tail to use for any of your summer paint parties, your ladies events. This is popular for ladies and kids. Um, but guys, here's the thing that I know is you can have this successful paint party and you can feel on top of the world. And then you can have another party the next week and it bombs. And here's, oh, is it Crescinda watching live? Just joined Paint Party Headquarters, so excited. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so excited to have y'all. Guys, I just love to spoil y'all. I love, and I'm gonna show y'all some of my paintings too that I'm working on. Um, I just love to spoil y'all and I love to give you um, prizes and surprises and do challenges with you. And I just want you to know that here's the thing. We close the doors at midnight tomorrow. And the reason I close the doors is because all of my focus starts to go towards everybody that's joined. So if you have joined, give me some grace because what will happen is you will click the link to join. Whenever you join, then it's going to send you an email. If that email um, goes to your spam, you need to grab it and pull it out because then I'm going to be entering, me and my virtual assistant will be entering you into the um, system. So just make sure, and you can cancel it anytime. So if you get in there and you're like, eh, I don't know about that, you can cancel it anytime. But let me go back to, hold on guys. 
sometimes this little thing gets a little tricky. So who on here has joined? I know we've had a lot of people. We've had over 100 people join. I think we're at around 125 people that have joined just in the past 36 hours. So welcome. We're gonna, we have over 300 members. So we're gonna be you know, getting you all settled and helping you. And, and my job is to make your life easier. So whether you are just starting this business, you know, we have like a veteran section, a beginner section, and a kind of middle of the road. But my goal for you is to make this as simple as possible and teaching you a profit every party. I am not a person that's like, yes, I taught paint parties way back when, and this is what you should do. No, I have four paint parties this month. Like I am constantly teaching paint parties. And the reason I constantly teach paint parties is because it's great money. Okay, Diane, one of our new members, she says, making happy money. That's what she wants out of this. And I'm like, yes, making happy money. So um, so just like in Create in Big Magic, I always try to say it's creative magic, but just like in Big Magic, she talks about, you know, fail, fail miserably, fail, you know, consistently, just keep failing because in the in the long thing in the long term, nobody's really watching anyway. Nobody's really watching that closely anyway. So it's so important that you remember that, guys, that you know, fear is a liar. All those things we tell ourselves. And again, this is a painted prayer. And um, for those of you that maybe you are brand new to painting and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this because I really love painting, but I'm not really sure how to do this. Guys, painted prayers takes no artsy skill at all. This is all stenciling. I teach you how to do that. And those are some of my very popular paintings along with other people. And um, we had a message in there today from Lana. She had never painted before. She actually worked with my husband. My husband um, was you know, watching some of my lives while he was at work. She started watching them and then she thought, maybe I could do this, you know, and she got excited. She'd never painted before. And so she just started taking some of my tutorials, practicing them. And she just posted yesterday and said, she just had 12 prepaid painters. And guys, this is a girl that had never painted before. So here's the thing. We are not teaching fine art. We are teaching fun art. And Painting with a Twist said that best, and they have paved the way back in 2007 is when they started this business. We're just over 10 years old. Um, I'm not with Painting with a Twist, but what I'm saying is the, the revolution, the movement of paint parties is just over 10 years old. And they have paved the way for people like you and me so that everybody's educated. People really already know what we do. And here's the thing, I have two things for you. So one is, I live in a town with a painting with a twist, or I live in a town with a board and brush. It won't work for me. Well, I live in a town with a painting with a twist. I live in a town with a board and brush. Two miles that way, half a mile that way. I teach you a way to do it so you're not a sitting duck. And that's where every month the new marketing techniques, the social media hacks, all of those things are designed to help you build your business. Because here's the thing, you lay the foundation now, oh my gosh, September 20th through December 20th, you can make an entire year's salary. But you can't all of a sudden start posting on September 20th after you've been posting a thousand viral cat videos that now you teach a paint party business. It doesn't work that way, people, okay? So you need to start getting the foundation laid now, but it can work fast. On the flip side, my friend Brenda, me and my daughter for the past three years, we're gonna do it again for a fourth year in a row. We have done a two and a half week road trip. She's almost 13. I feel like if I trap her in a car for 22 hours there and 22 hours back, it's gotta bond us in some way, right? So we do this massive paint party Southern tour, we call it, and we go teach paint parties all over the place. We call it the traveling paint parties. And we have a blast and we teach paint parties and we just have all these fun experiences. And we stayed with one of the ladies in paint party headquarters and her name is Brenda. And I remember saying, hey, you know, can we stay with you? Cause I love to meet, you know, people who are in my paint party headquarters and I love to connect if we're close or outside. And, um, and so I pulled up and there's like one stop sign. And I'm like, how are you having all these paint parties, girl? Like there's nobody here. And she goes, yeah, I mean, she was having parties of 20, 25 people at these church events because again, nobody was there. So here's what I know, guys. And she had only painted five paintings. She's a grandma, a very proud grandma. She'd only painted five paintings before she started, five. 
but she knew. She knew she had a passion for this and wanted to learn. She just posted yesterday her first painting with her not looking at any tutorials, just doing it on her own. She says, just me and God painting, and it's beautiful, and she used spoons, and it's like this abstract flower, and it's so beautiful. But here's the thing, guys. I teach you not to be a sitting duck. So we can pray all day for opportunities, but you still have to take inspired action. You still have to do the things that you're supposed to do because again, my mission is to share God's love through art. And I can only teach so many paint parties, but if all of y'all are out there teaching paint parties too, getting people off their phones for two hours, having a time where they can bond with their family, then that's a step in the right direction because I think we have such a negative world out there and we need to bring some positivity to it. And if we can do that and not only do that, but make you know great money doing that, why not? Okay. So again, if you're just joining me, we did a huge giveaway earlier. It was a very fun Facebook live. If you want to see it, I gave away over $200 worth of art supplies. I think I'm going to do that again. Do y'all want to see that again? Cause that was really fun. And Teresa was the winner. I've already emailed her and got her address. So please don't be messaging me pretending to be Teresa. Um, I'm going to be sending her the email later or the, the package tomorrow. And also, um, if you want to see that again, I may do another giveaway like that because that was a lot of fun. So here's the thing, guys. I close the doors at midnight tomorrow night. That's it. We don't open the doors again to the public until September. So if you have questions, you need to ask them now because I'm going to be turning all my focus on all of these women, over 300 now, in Paint Party Headquarters because I am all in. Like right now is the time you can join, but then once this hits, you know, yes, I'll do a few lives here and there, but the videos for the Paint Party Revolution series, the free videos on my blog, those will go, you know, those will go away. Those will go just to my paint party headquarters people. So I want you to make sure, you know, even if you don't join, make sure you watch those videos before they go away tomorrow night. And um, let's see if we have any questions. Okay, let's see. Um, Carmea, did I say that right? I hope. Um, you are a blessing. I've had a business plan for 12 years. Fear of failure has been my reason for not proceeding. You have insight, the heart, and ability to show me the way. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, you know, I struggle with fear, and I talk openly about my anxiety issues all the time on Facebook Live. Um, and here is what I have found to be true. So once I started failing and failing flat on my face, for those of y'all that know me, you know that over 10 years ago, my family went bankrupt. We lost everything. It was a very devastating time and a very embarrassing time in my life. I did not start talking openly about it until about four, four and a half years ago. And um, through talking about it has really healed me. And through knowing that I wasn't alone and I'm not the only one that has done that has really healed me. And then knowing that the faster I fail, the faster I succeed has been a game changer. So my kind of take on life now is like, nobody's apparently to people in their 50s and 60s nobody's really watching us that close anyway right so fail fail again fail again you know i've had times in my life where i have you know had really bad things happen or really you know hard things happen and you'll know like you'll get maybe a few texts you know from really close friends that know what's going on but for the most part life goes on people are doing their thing people are busy they're not trying to be mean they just life gets in the way you think you're going to go write a note to somebody and then your your kid calls or you know something happens or you got to turn in money for this and, and just life gets in the way so here's the thing i've noticed when i've had like really bad times in my life you know there might be a few friends that have have you know contacted me same thing with them they probably had really big struggles and i didn't know about it or didn't know to contact them. It doesn't mean we don't love each other. It just means that people are busy. So with that freedom, know that you can fail and fail and fail again, but success is inevitable if you keep trying. It will happen, you just have to keep trying. That's the thing about Paint Party Headquarters that I've noticed that people really struggle with the most. They struggle with knowing what paintings to offer because you have got to have on-trend paintings all the time or it will not work. And then the second and most important thing 
is the marketing strategies. So I, again, am not a person that is, you know, seven years ago I did this one thing and now it's working. No, I am constantly pushing the envelope, trying new things, learning. I mean, some of the people in Pink Party headquarters, somebody mentioned something today about having this album and I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. And then one of the ladies was like, no, I'm doing it and it's working great. And, you know, I bring it to my parties and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do that. Let's all make an album right now. Let's have a party and make an album. You know, so there's, there's people of all levels and we're all sharing our experiences. But what I do know to be true is in any business, and if somebody tells you that this isn't true, they are lying through their teeth. In any business, you are going to have ups and downs. You're going to have times when you're like, man, I just did a party of 50 people and I am, you know, the greatest thing ever and oh my gosh, nothing can get me down and then you'll have a party next week that falls flat and that you have to cancel. And what I know to be true is that you cannot hold your worthiness, you cannot tie your worthiness into a paint party business. You have got to tie it where it's always been in God. And when you do that, when you can tie your worthiness in God, we're a child of God. And that is where, you know, our purpose is to serve. And when we're serving others, you know, I know my anxiety goes away. When I'm focused on other people instead of myself, my anxiety goes away. So it's so, so important that you remember you're going to have those ups and downs, but I have been through, I've been there. I've been through all of them. I know what you feel. And my nights are usually me staying up, going, praying, going, okay, Leanne had that question. How can I make this faster for her? Oh my gosh, Deborah had this. How can I make this faster for her? So guys, I really just want to come alongside you and help you. And um, let me answer a few questions here. And um, Charlene says, what is the potential from one party and where does the supplies come from? Okay, so the potential from one party, I'm going to try to get you all a little closer to me so that I can read these a little better. Um, okay, so the potential for one party. So I do um, a minimum of eight if it's local and then a minimum of 10 if it's not local, meaning like, you know, 30, 40 minutes away. I charge um, $35 a person. That's across the board. Um, I've actually raised my rates recently to 40 and then 45 with like a $5 discount. Um, but you can start, if you're just starting, just do a guinea pig party and try it out and then do 35. So here's the thing, guys. This is mostly a service-based business. So you will find that, you know, in Paint Party Headquarters, I have several ways for you to um, get discounts on different things. I have several different little tricks and tips to help you out. But again, I am not the person that's going to say, you know, go open up a studio and, um, and buy 100 easels. I will not be that person. I teach you a profit every single party. So from one party, let's say you have $35 a person, you have 10 people at $350, you're probably going to make at least $290 off that, if not more. Um, and then the supplies all over the place. So Charlene, if you go to my blog, texasartandsoul.com, you're gonna see a blog from Paint Party Revolution that is only available for one more day. It's a 29 minute video where I go through all of the supplies. You're going to love it. And um, let's see, you're, um, you're cute. It's Carrie Mae, hugs to you. Oh, Carrie Mae. Okay, yes, I did say it wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay, so let's see. Um, Susan has a problem with joining joining the page. Okay, Susan, um, if you would, if you will message me, and the link for, for joining Paint Party Headquarters is in the description. So you should be able to click on the link in the description right now. Once you click on the link, you can choose the monthly payment. Again, you can cancel at any time. I hold nobody hostage. Um, I feel like, you know, we are all on this paint party adventure together. And then, you know, when you're at the level you feel like you you need or don't need, then you're able to cancel. Or if you want to stay with us, we, we have been open a year. This is our one year anniversary and we have over 300 members now. And um, I am just, my goal this year is to just get more and more things better and easier for you. Um, whether it's um, images of paint parties that you just drag and drop to your pages. So again, you're not constantly posting viral videos of cats. It's gonna be hard to get member, you know, get people to, to be a, a person in your paint party if all they see at your page is viral videos of cats, just saying. Um, and I also do fun little bonus surprises. So click in the link, then you can choose the yearly if you wanna do the yearly. 
Um, that gives you one month free. And then my goal for you guys here, and remember to check your spam. So when you join, check your spam, and then give us some grace, please, for getting you in there. Me and a couple teammates are trying to help get everybody in there, but it may be tomorrow. Um, so my, my goal for you, this is um, basically the Paint Party Headquarters success path. So I want you to tell me which one you are. Okay, I'm gonna read them off. So the hopeful artist. You have a strong desire to learn more about painting. You may or may not have any experience. You know the power of art heals and you believe God is the ultimate artist. So if you're new um, to painting, this is probably you, the hopeful artist. And that is totally fine. Everybody has to start somewhere. But here's what I know. If you don't know where you are, you don't know where you're going, okay? It's kind of like a GPS. You gotta know where your beginnings to know where you're gonna get to. The number two one is a dreaming artist. This person is dreaming what life would be like with the more time to create. They imagine life with the possibility of owning their own business and they're excited about having control of their schedule, okay? You will not believe it, but I have a few parties on Saturdays and very few parties on Sundays, but most of my biggest parties happen on like Monday nights. It's so weird. Um, so a lot of my weekends are free. Now, I'm not saying I don't always, you know, I do schedule some on weekends, but most of my weekends are free. Um, a confident artist, painting at least once a month. You're proud of your art. You know the managers of the local craft stores by name. Is that you? You want to paint everything, even if nobody is paying you. You're like, let me paint it. I'll paint the floor, I'll paint the wall. You know, I remember a time when I used to paint everything for free. I thought, well, it's fun. I shouldn't get paid for it. And a friend asked me to do something. I was teaching full time. I was doing paint parties full time. I was running myself ragged. I had a little kid, you know, my daughter was young at the time. And um, she asked me to do something. I stayed up till midnight to work on that because we're creatives, we feel more, we feel like we need to do that. I brought it to her all excited and she had forgot she asked for it. Do you think I do things for free now? And no, unless I am donating something and it is on my, my time schedule, but no. Because here's the thing, again, people aren't paying that much attention to us anyway, like we learned in Big Magic, right? We just talked about that. All right, the next thing, confident artist. Um, oh, we already talked about that one. Techie artist. Comfortable posting art on social media and Facebook Live showing new technology. So you're here, you know, maybe you're, you're really comfortable being on Facebook Live and you're eager to create marketing materials. You're excited to show others online what they love and you understand the power of Facebook. Um, regardless of how you feel about Facebook, Facebook has built my paint party business pretty much free. So um, I am testing a couple of ads right now for paint parties, but honestly, my paint parties are not run through ads. And I also do not have a website for paint parties. Um, if you go to my website, it's all about teaching you how to do a paint party. You will not find a website with my paint party schedule on it. So I teach you that too. You don't have to have a fancy website to run a paint party business. And then the one that we are getting you to, and the one that several of the people in paint party headquarters are at, is the money-making artist. Again, we are not starving artists. We, don't, we can't help anybody if we can't pay our light bill and pay our groceries. So this one is all about excited, um, excited to see money in the bank, making money teaching paint parties, understanding the ins and outs of making a paint party successful knows how to rinse and repeat the process. That is big because what happens is people get started, like I said, they have a great paint party and then all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do next. This is where I guide you, I hold your hand. Have you ever heard that quote? It says, you know, find somebody that's doing something you want and then do exactly what they do. That's what I'm doing for you, okay? And it's only $32 a month. And one painter will pay for that. So I always think about the risk versus the reward. Say you get in, you pay $30, $32, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I don't know about this, this isn't for me. You cancel, it's not the end of the world, okay? But guess what, say you get in there, you post one of the pictures, you get a painting scheduled, you make $350, guess what? 
That's just the beginning. Oh my gosh, we had Noelle who did a paint party. She had nobody show up. She was so kind of sad about it. We retweaked some of her marketing. One of the ladies in our group named Tina had this awesome turtle. She shared the design rights to that turtle. She reposted it, tweaked a few marketing things, had a sold out crowd of 20 people times $35 a person. Now, was it worth her extra effort to try that? Yes. Yes, and here's the thing, guys. You can make so much money. September 20th through December 20th is like Christmas the whole time. I mean, it is so awesome, and it's so much fun because you get to do what you love, and like one of our new members, Diane, said, making happy income. I love that quote from her. Um, okay, so true. Being a child of God trumps everything. Yes, and you know, that's the thing. People are so scared to try but a lot of times God is working his magic in the background and then you just have to get the guts to stop being fearful and then try. I've had women in Paint Party headquarters that have said, you know, I've been so scared, but I was at a restaurant, it was my birthday, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna talk to the waitress about this. And the waitress is like, yeah, I think the boss is wanting to do this. She got the courage to do it, talks to the boss, within five minutes, they booked a date. Again. Pray for opportunities, but then take inspired action, people. Regardless if you join Paint Party Headquarters or not, again, I would love to have you in there. The doors close tomorrow night at midnight. We will not open again to the public until September with a price increase. So this is the last time the price will be at $32 a month. You can cancel at any time and you're grandfathered in at that price. But here's the thing, guys, that I know that you need to take action. Lay this foundation because, yes, you can have paint parties. Start small. Do some small paint parties now. Get your feet wet during the summer, and then you will be ready to rock and roll come September 20th through, August, through December 20th. And um, the templates from headquarters are the templates techniques usable between canvas and wood cutouts. Yes, they are usable. Sorry, my ears like having a funny popping thing. Um, so it's like I'm hearing an echo over here. It's probably like, stop staring at the computer screen. <laughs> um, yes, you can use them on wood, on canvas, everything I give you. So like the mermaid tail bonus that um, is being released tonight, that mermaid tail can be traced onto a canvas and done the same way, just add a black background. Um, you could take the bike, you know, you could take anything that I teach and transfer it to a palette or to canvas or to wood. And I also teach you too slime parties, different types of events. Um, I'm doing a really cool party here in a couple of um, weeks for, it's like a Memorial Day type party. And we're actually doing a kids event and I'm making um, sock what are those sock kites or something like that? I can't remember what they're called right now. And then we're doing these donut Sundays. So once you get the process of how to create an event, you basically create these other events and people might think, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do that. Well, they pay me $30 a kid. And the last one I did was 40 kids. That's $1,200 for an hour of work. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'll do a craft like that for $1,200 any day of the week. Um, because again, it feeds my family. And with my past situation over 10 years ago, losing everything and having that traumatic experience, I am all about, you know, what does it take to make things happen for my family? How many ways can I make income come in? You know, yeah, I'll be a party clown and teach some, you know, sock kite things and do a donut Sunday fun thing and it takes me an hour and I can make $1,200? Yes, yes please. Like, you know, a lot of people, that's two weeks of work at a 40 hour job, you know? And I know that and I know that that is, you know, something that people are struggling with. So, you know, still work your full-time job. I'm not here saying quit your full-time job. Work your full-time job. Do one paint party a month. Bring in that extra money. Pay for Christmas. Pay for a summer vacation. We have many people in our um, paint party headquarters that are using this money just for vacation money, just for, um, you know, Christmas money, just for taxes. You know, maybe they own a lot of land. So whatever the case is, you know, you don't have to teach a bazillion parties to be successful at this business. Find out what you want, write it down. Sometimes at the end of the day, like for me, and I know some of y'all are gonna think I'm silly, but 
for me, it's not about having, you know, a, a massive, you know, crazy expensive house. That's not important to me. I live in a house that has a ton of square footage. It is perfect for us. It's like a 1977 house. It's an old house, but I get to paint anywhere I want. I get to do fun stuff to it. Um, you know, that to me is not what defines my success. What defines my success is me being able to get a massage every month, me being able to get my yard mowed so my husband doesn't have to do that and it hurts his back, me being able to um, get my hair done, me, you know, getting my nails done the third time in my life. That was so fun. You know, like those little things and um, me being able to go to the grocery store and not have to look at my account before I check out. Those are the things that make me feel successful. And um, me being able to book a flight to Canada or wherever I want and do an awesome experience. That is what makes me feel successful. So when you really write it down and you know what you want, sometimes you realize you don't really need a bazillion parties to make all that happen. So guys, think about what you want first and then fail as fast as you can till you get there. And then if you want to get there a lot faster, sign up for Paint Party Headquarters because guys, I'm giving you all the shortcuts. I have made all the mistakes and man, I wish there would have been someone like me over seven years ago saying, let me help you for the, the low fee of $32 a month and I will help you with all of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would have been so happy and I would have been way light years ahead of where I am now. And um, Susan says, nope, when I hit on the monthly, it goes through a lockup lock comes up and never stops running. You know, we may have some issues. We've had a lot of people joining tonight, so there may be some issues in that. And um, if you would, just email me at Heidi.Easley at Yahoo.com. If somebody could please put that in the comments for her, um, Heidi.Easley at Yahoo.com, and then we will get you all set up. And um, Janine, Janina, Janina, oh, I, I always get names wrong. She says, I think I fit in the dreaming artist working on the confident artist. Just discovered your site today. Thank you so much for all you have on here. Oh, you are so welcome. I am excited for you. Yes, just keep practicing, keep practicing. And um, at this point, I'm a dreaming artist and somewhat confident artist. That's Crescenda, awesome. And um, Susan says, I finally made the decision to join and I can't get in. <laughs> We will get you in, Susan. Even if I have to manually do it, we will get you in. And Rita is on. Okay, Rita, I love so much. I talk about her often. And um, she is a young spring chicken in her 70s. Um, but she does not act like she's in her 70s. I adore her. I got to stay with her and her husband, Mr. Potter, who um, you know does wonderful pottery. And he sent me a surprise, and I have not seen it yet, and I'm just dying to know what it is. I'm so excited to get it. Um, but anyway, she was you know having some anxiety with teaching paint parties, and she's decided to do pop-up paint parties. She would just schedule them on a Tuesday, have them on a Saturday, and, um, and now she's over that fear, and she's actually teaching paint parties prepaid paint parties, which is what we teach. Um, what about painting on sneakers? That is a great idea. Great idea, Nana. Babs, Babs Nana. We're going to call her all kinds of things. Um, she, she said I could call her Nana. I talked to her the other day. And um, Renee says, write the vision, make the plan. Now, those of you that are like, oh, I don't know about vision boards. Like, I've never really done a vision board, but I've always written a letter to myself. Me and Pixie do this every year. We write a letter to ourselves, and then we seal it. And it's letters that like we say what we hope for the year. We say, you know, like one year I wrote, you know, I hope we have a house with a shop, you know, for Bobby to have and a place for me to have an art studio. Now I'm going to show you, it's very embarrassing, but here's the, this is the dining room. So when, when we looked at this house over two years ago, um, and I saw this dining room, all I could see was this, all I could see was this chaos, right? because I knew I wanted to have this awesome room to have just art chaos in it. Like I was so excited, I didn't even care. I remember my cousin saying, she's like, what does the kitchen have in it? You know, what are the countertops? And I'm like, I don't know. Like all I know is there's a huge room where I can paint all the time. Like that's all I cared about, you know? And so we signed the papers for the house and we showed up at the house and I was like, huh. The flooring is also the countertops. <laughs> and so I remember texting her a picture and being like, they're not marble, they're not granite, it's the flooring, but I don't even care because all I cared about was this art studio space. So I remember writing that down 
years ago saying like, I just, you know, I want to own a home again because we had lost our house. We had lost our cars. And I said, I want to, you know, I'm finally at the place. I want to own a home again. And I want a home that's going to have a shop for my husband. That's going to have room for my daughter. You know, we were living in a, a house that was like 800 square feet. And my um, little paint studio was my dining room table. So we were basically eating, you know, in the living room every single day. And that's the thing guys, do what you gotta do. When I was living in an apartment after we lost our house, I painted in the dining room table, like make a space and then, you know, be, um, you know, be grateful for that space because then God gives you more when you're grateful. So every year we write a letter of what we hope to happen that year. We seal it up, we put the date on it and then in a year we open it. What usually happens is we lose the letter and then we find it like a year and a half later and then we're like, oh my gosh, this came true or this happened. And that's what happened whenever um, I'd wrote all the things I wanted out of this house and um, I'd put it away and then I found it. And then I was like, oh my gosh, everything I had prayed for is in this house. And it's so crazy for things like that to happen. Oh, thank you, Christina. She wrote the email. So if you have any um, questions, you can email me there. And Christina is such an awesome lady. She is in Paint Party headquarters as well. Um, I just love her dearly. She's so sweet. She heard my voice was getting raspy because I've been doing all of these lives. And she sent me a message and she's like, make sure you're drinking tea. So Christina, I have my tea. I've been constantly drinking it all day long because we have one more day for the doors in Paint Party headquarters. So tomorrow I'll be going live a few more times. But here's the thing, guys. You gotta make a decision. You know, it's it's $32 make a decision. It's not a life or death choice, but the potential of what can happen with you taking a step is so massive. Paint parties have changed my life. Paint parties have changed so many people's lives in that group, and I see it daily. I see their wins. You know, I also see their struggles, and we're a praying group, so when people have struggles, we pray for them. We have every Monday at noon, we all have set our alarms. So those of you that are new that have just joined us, Feel free, set your alarms at noon, no matter where you're at in the world. We have people from New Zealand, people in France, people in London, wherever you're at, set your alarm, which they might not wanna get up in the middle of the night. However, just pray for one minute. We just, wherever we're at, we stop, we pray, we um, just you know pray for people in Paint Party headquarters, pray for God to show us opportunities, pray for God to bless our businesses, pray for God to use us in our businesses. And so every Monday at noon, it just goes off. And one day I was interviewing one of the sweet ladies, Sarah, in Paint Party headquarters. We were on a Zoom meeting and her alarm went off because she's an hour ahead of me. And she goes, oh, it's prayer time. And I was like, okay, well, let's pray. And so she started the prayer. And, you know, I am here telling you, like, I am, I wasn't raised in a church. You know, we went to church a few times here and there. Um, but, you know, I started, like, really, you know, praying and, and really trying to read the Bible and just, you know, be obedient, do what God wants me to do. And so I'm not like, you know, I'm not sitting here saying, like, I mean, I still look at the table of contents whenever I'm looking at Bible verses, like, you know, if I need to find a Bible, like a book of the Bible, I look up the table of contents. So she started the prayer and then it got silent for a minute. And I'm like, are we doing like a pass? Are we passing it? Are you passing it to me? <laughs> you know, so like, I just want you to know there's a lot of fun in it too. You know, we don't take ourselves too seriously, but we are also there for each other. So it's just a great community. And um, Laria says, I'm a list maker. Write it down and make it happen. Amen, girl. And um, all right, thank you for all you do and who you are. And Rita says, hey everyone, so excited to see you wonderful women joining us in Paint Party Headquarters. I have never regretted joining. Heidi is a generous mentor and wants only the best for each of you. Thank you, Rita, for saying that. It is so true. Um, I don't know if you can tell by this live, but I am very, very open and honest and I love to share um, as much as I can with you. Again, I am about you having success. Um, let's see if there's any last questions before I sign off here because I... I think I probably need to drink some tea and get some dinner. Um, let's see, came in late and um, stay away from that other stuff. I might have missed something. What was that other stuff? 
Maybe I didn't read the comment at the right time, Christina. <laughs> okay, Robin says, became a member at the appraisal office to protest our taxes and ended up getting an email for paint and praise. <laughs> oh my gosh, so Robin, I was at the appraisal office today too um, at protesting my taxes. That is so funny. There were a lot of people today because it was the deadline. And um, Robin, the fee is $32 a month. You can cancel it anytime. You are going to get a painting tutorial step-by-step -step that you have immediate rights to use. You're also gonna get a marketing hack, a social media hack that's gonna help your business move forward every single month. They change. And um, you're also gonna have an hour Q&A Monday through Thursday, I answer questions in the group Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, it's kind of like downtime. And then the last week of the month is called Creative Week. We kind of stay out of the group. You're welcome to keep asking questions, but we kind of just have places in, we have boundaries in place to, to, to basically let you move forward. Because if you're constantly receiving something from me all the time, you will feel like you can't keep up. And I do not want you to feel overwhelmed. So those of you that are joining tonight, when you get in there, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's so much information. And here's the thing. Do not be overwhelmed because on Monday during the opening ceremonies at 7 p.m. Central, I am going to tell you exactly how to use this group. And when you know how to use it properly, it is a gold mine for your success. So $32 a month, you can um, join. The link is in the description and you can join. We have basically 24 hours for you to join. The doors close at midnight tomorrow night. All my focus turns to these women that have joined Paint Party Headquarters. Now, here's the thing I wanna say. If you join and you decide after a month or two, you're not, you know, you're not loving it, whatever, I just ask that if you cancel, you please tell me why so that I can make it better for the other women. And then you also be honest, just like if you were in a YMCA membership, you don't cancel the YMCA and then get access to the treadmill, right? So make sure if you are in Paint Party headquarters and then all of a sudden you decide to cancel, you don't have the database of all of those paintings for your lifetime use, okay? It's your, I'm very generous when you're in there as a member, but just know if you get in there and then all of a sudden you download, you know, a whole year's worth of stuff, you do not have rights to that forever, okay? So just, just be, be honorable, be ethical with that. However, you will find that when you are in there, you not only get what I say you're getting, but you get way more than that. There's always so much stuff that, um, that I, I give you and bonuses and things like that. And um, Robin says, yes, there was, um, felt like I was in trouble. I know it kind of had that feeling. I was like, I'm going to come out of here crying, but actually I came out kind of excited because when I found out the value of my house, I was like, oh, that's really great. I definitely made a good investment. And um, so Nana slash Bab says, do you email the information when one joined? If yes, I haven't received the information yet. Nana, yes. Check the email that we put in when you signed up. It should have went to... And um, if it didn't go to your email, then it went to your spam. So check your spam. I think we signed you up yesterday. So move that over to your inbox, okay? If you do not get, if you do not see it in your spam, then make sure you email me at heidi.easley at yahoo.com and I will resend it to you. Again, when you request to join into the group, we have a lot of people that have joined. Like I said, we're um, we're well over 300 members now, um, and I haven't looked in several hours, so I know a lot of people have joined tonight. Um, so just be patient with us. Let let just I'm just letting you know, um, we love you. We're gonna help you so so much, but just give us some time to get everybody in and situated, and don't be overwhelmed. Don't get in there and go, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Ah, you know, like you know, buyer's remorse. Like I can't do this. This is too much. No, I will help you. And there's so many women in there at all different levels, and we are all going to be helping each other because here's the thing. You don't need a bazillion parties to have a successful paint party business. You don't even need a bazillion different paintings to have a successful paint party business. I think last season, there were about three of the paintings that were making the majority of all of our money for all of us. It was making money for Christmas. It was making money for our slow January times. There are so many opportunities, but guys, you can't get in there and all of a sudden throw your hands up going, I'm trying to learn a year's worth of stuff in one month or one day. No, it is a process. And I promise you, I am constantly 
constantly investing, not hundreds, but thousands of dollars of my own money in learning more things, learning marketing. I am always learning. You can ask my husband, if I'm not on a podcast, I am reading a book. If I'm not reading a book, I'm watching a YouTube video. If I'm not on a YouTube video, I am learning something else about marketing and how I can make it better for you. So I am constantly feeding my mind, my soul, and so that I can deliver that stuff to you. Rita says that truck and tree, it is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh my gosh, between what is coming as a surprise on um, May 24th to all of y'all, all of my Paint Party headquarters people don't even know it. They don't even know what it is yet. And between that surprise coming on the 24th of May, in addition to the vintage Santa that I'm going to be making into a Paint Party version um, and that truck and tree, guys, we don't have nothing to worry about. All of July, Christmas and July parties, all of the October, November, December parties, like you will be set but you have got to lay the, the groundwork. I mean, I know I keep saying this, but you can't just keep forward and, you know, um, you know, political posts and, and viral cat videos. And then you send a message to somebody asking about a paint party and they go Facebook stalk you. They're probably not going to follow up because <laughs> they're not going to see that you do anything with paint parties. If you were to go to my Facebook page right now, Heidi Easley, and you were to scroll through my feed, you're going to see family, you're going to see my dog a lot, you're going to see my husband, you're going to see um, paintings, you're going to see paint parties, you're going to see thank yous to paint parties. If you scroll to Facebook and you go to Texas Art and Soul, you're going to see anything to do with art, you're going to see my family, you're going to see Facebook paintings, you're going to, you're going to see paintings, you're going to see paint parties. Guys, You have it's our online resume. This is the new world, our online resume. So when you send a message, hey, I want to teach paint parties at your business on a slow night. Do you have time to talk this week? And they go Facebook stalk you. And all there is is viral videos and forwards of angry posts. Do you really think they're going to want you at, your business, at their business? No, but it takes time to develop all of those skills. And marketing strategies are built on top of each other. You can't take all of them at once and try to implement them all at the same time. You will be overwhelmed. So don't be overwhelmed. I'm here to help you. So I am gonna go drink some more tea so I can talk to y'all tomorrow. And if you wanna join guys, tomorrow night is the last night. Again, make a decision. I love you either way. I want you to teach paint parties either way, but I want to do this with you a lot faster. And why go through all the headaches when everything's done for you? It's like a done for you, right? You just grab the image, drag it, drop it. Hey, you want to paint this mermaid tail? They say yes. Now you paint the mermaid tail and now you have a party, right? So it saves you so much time. And Mary says, I'm trying to sign up. And when it goes to paypal.com, it just spins. We might have a lot of people signing up right now. So email me, Heidi.Easley at Yahoo.com. We'll make sure we get you in. Um, and then try here in another hour. Um, we have had a lot of people joining in the last um, few hours, so it may kind of have some little mess-ups there. Um, yes, Rita, I need to get some rest. <laughs> All right, guys, tomorrow I'm going to be painting something really cool live. I have been talking about it for a while. I've been wanting to work on this certain painting and it has a really great quote and i think it's very very great for what is happening right now but i'm going to surprise you with it tomorrow so watch for that tomorrow and then again if you know anybody artsy and crafty that may benefit from this share this with them and um, we have so many wonderful women in there and and i think the thing that i didn't realize when i started this was the friendships that i would gain from this and um, you know i know some of y'all are out there and you're thinking um, you know, I don't really need this for money, but I just want to like get out of the house. You know, I'm retired. I just want to make some new friends. This is a great way to do that. So join tonight. The link is in the description and I cannot wait to spoil you and help you and just be there for you. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye guys.